Serious, what is the most disrespectful thing a guest ever did in your home? Probably the time where my parents let a family member stay in my room for a while and they found my stash of money I was saving. To this day. He lies to my face and sticks to his story that I lost it. My mother-in-law decided it was fine for her to smoke in our house after being explicitly told by my wife that it was not okay. I smoked at the time and even I did not smoke in the house. Relative stayed at our house over the holidays. And went into our room and drawers. When my wife came home. He asked my wife why does she have so much makeup if she doesn't use them. And proceeded to ask if she could have some of the items she found for keeps. Put a magnet up to my TV. Permanently leaving a discolored spot. He just had it in his pocket. Like what the hell? We said not to eat in the guest bedroom. And when we went in there after they had left we found ice cream all over the sheets. Also. The same people left flecks of fesses in the bathroom sink and fesses soiled toilet paper on the bathroom floor on two separate occasions. My friend's husband peed in the hallway when we were all drunk. He said the bathroom was full and he couldn't make it outside to pee on a bush. Next time I saw him. I gave him a small potted plant with a homemade men's room sign stuck in it. And told him now he had a porta potty. Dut. The plant died. Colon. I pick up friends from the airport only to find out that they've invited themselves to stay at my place to save money they also save money by consuming my food and alcohol and trying to get me to split the bill 5050 when I've had a corona and impanada and they had florida lobster. Stone crabs. And those giant fish bowl mugs. No more. You don't have a place. There's a $20 a night hostel down the road future mother-in-law started pulling out flowers and vines she didn't like and to top it off. Not clean up the mess she made. A couple of years ago a friend of a friend was going to be homeless. Decided to let him stay at my place for what was supposed to be two weeks but turned into three months. He would throw trash in the floor. Like. Directly on the floor and leave it. Walk all over my rugs sith muddy shoes on. Smelled like shti all the time. He would clip his toenails in the middle of the floor and just leave it. Worst experience I've ever had. Due to that I've never let anybody stay at my home ever again. She's actually here right now. And just put my mom's homemade maple syrup in the trash. She threw out my night mouth guard once. Please update us after you kick her out. Mom invited a family friend over for lunch. Mum said the friend was coming with their husband and two kids. They came with two freaking families we did not know. The quiet moment when mom's eyes move in silent subtle horror. The ate my leftovers that I had been saving and put the empty boxes back in the fridge. I went all day thinking I still had food. Went to eat. And almost cried. We had a friend over who spent the entire evening telling us how ugly our home was. Like. We drove up and he said what a shthol and then made rude comments about our furniture and decor once he was inside. Our house is really nice in a nice part of town. Decorated tastefully and simply. I was livid by the end of the night. Edit. To all of the comments suggesting I kick him out. I couldn't kick him out because he'd been drinking and we took his keys. I did eventually yell at him for being a dick and felt much better. Had SX in my bed. I know because after they left. Cock ring was in the sheets. Never threw something out so quickly. A friend of mine decided to take a piss in our bottle of hand wash in the bathroom because he didn't like my stepdad. When he came back laughing I asked him what was up and he told me expecting me to find it hilarious. I did not. I also had another friend stay over one night and he stole my HDD out of my Xbox 360. Edit. This was 5 years ago and 7 years ago respectively. They are no longer my friends. You can stop telling me to find better friends now. Just rehabbed my first home. We hired a contractor to come hang new doors. He showed up with his kids. Whatever. I guess he couldn't find a sitter. Dude does a mediocre job. 
actually f-ked up one of the doors and tried hiding it with spackle. I later found the word poopy written on the freshly painted wall in the room his kids were playing in. How is the small claims case going? My married sister flew in from out of town to attend my brother's wedding. I was living with my bro at the time so technically it was my home too. Night of the wedding. My bro and his new bride go to a hotel room to do what newly married couples do. My sister brings some rando home from the bar after party and proceeds to fck him in our brother's bed. Oh. And she was apparently on the rag cause the next morning it looked like someone bled out on the mattress. My brother is a bigger man than me. He bought a new mattress and forgave the sister for her un- transgressions. This girl stayed over at my house after the pub. I went to bed with my fella. Woke up. Girl was gone. Walked into the bathroom later that day. Place stank of shti. Eventually pulled back the shower curtain. There was a jug I use for washing my kids hair. She shti sort of half in the jug. Half in the bath? I mean it was an odd enough thing in the first place. But there's a toilet in that bathroom. Which you have to walk past to get to the bath. I got a message on Facebook that evening saying Osai pooped. Thanks for letting me stay. I confronted her and she claimed she had no idea about it. Obviously she's never been invited over since. Removed. I had a friend I hadn't seen in years that lives in another state decide to surprise me and fly down when I was 2 weeks postpartum, after a c-section to boot. Strike 1. And she spent the entire weekend hitting on my husband. He's a super laid back guy and even he was wildly uncomfortable. We haven't spoken since. My sister brought her boyfriend over to my house and proceeded to tell him how I ruined her life because I was born two years after her and stole all her attention and that is why she is depressed to this day, at the time she was 30. Get right the fck out of my house with that nonsense. She'd been saying it for years but that was the last straw. My health problems, which she credits with stealing her attention, didn't affect me that much and they happened to me. I lived in a small house. So my dressing table was a table and wall mirror near the front door. One day we had people over while it was raining. And my husband's cousin came in. Picked up my hairbrush from the hall table. And brushed her wet dog with it. Well my mother had a friend who had the most annoying kids on earth. They literally take food out of our fridge and eat it without permission and splash water in our bathroom and make a mess. And once. Her son took sunflower seeds from our kitchen and started eating and spitting the shells on our couch. His mother just looked at him and laughed and my mother was looking at her like are you fking killing me? I had a school friend sleep over once. I woke up in middle of night to him burning my elbow with a lighter. We were like 7 years old. It's something that happened and I haven't thought about since now. I wonder where that kid is at now. Had a friend come over once and we drank together. She invited a boy over. I went to bed. Woke up to her yelling. Told her to be quiet my mom was sleeping. She started yelling at me fcku. fckubc the boy she invited over was talking to me more. A boy I had zero interest in, followed by my mom waking up in the morning to find that my friend had passed out on the couch with all our back doors wide open. A friend broke up with her husband and stopped at my place one night while driving across the country with her two young kids and her entire house packed up. No notice but she's a friend so I didn't hesitate to open my door. Feed. Wash. And give everything needed. Next morning I had to go to work. I absolutely had to. She's like no problem. I'll lock up on the way out. I came home to a trashed house. She took a nap. I don't blame her, but the kids didn't. There was maple syrup in the carpets of three rooms and most surfaces. Because kids. Cats and syrup. Condiments were strewn across the kitchen. Which was also flooded with milk. The cereal was found in and under the couches. Poor kids tried to make breakfast. What pissed me off was that she saw the mess when she woke and bolted. Edit. She's met a good one now and I'm a bridesmaid. My mother was in the middle of her fight with cancer, she had been flown overseas a few times. Was in the middle of chemo and radiation. 
all while trying to work and take care of my elderly grandmother. She is one of the kindest and most compassionate people in our community so everyone was rightfully really concerned about her and her well-being. Except for her uncle, who came to the house frequently just to complain about his non-existent medical issues without asking once how she was doing. Even on days when she was laying in a darkened bedroom shivering on a summer day and couldn't come out to greet him because she felt so poorly, he'd he still sit in our living room and loudly whine about how his DR told him he'd have to change his diet for his blood pressure. She is the one who patiently listened and sympathized with his bullshit the most but did he return a pixel of her compassion? Of course not. My mom has been in remission for years now and it still fills me with fury what a selfish narcissistic idiot bastard he is. He's dead to me. Went to my room. I locked it and they actually unlocked it. It was an old lock that just needs a coin to unlock. And I thought they would have the decency to not do so. One time I found someone looking through my journal. Pissed in my laundry basket. Racked up $400 in long distance calls. Invited crackheads back to my place. While we were out. House guests staying with us rearranged our furniture and artwork according to their own taste. During my dad's 50th birthday, one of his co-worker, who was invited, was very drunk. He then tried to touch my sister. F-ked my girlfriend in my bed on my 18th birthday after I went to work. A friend of mine came over for my birthday party and later decided to take a massive liquidity tea under my kitchen table. He then went into my bathroom and proceeded to cover it in diarrhea. A friend was house-sitting for me while I had a long weekend away. They said they would stop by two days out of the five to make sure everything was good and water my plants. They showed up the day I left. And plugged my fridge and left came home to everything rotten and it smelled like someone was murdered in the fridge. Called and asked what happened and she said she was mad at me because her brand new boyfriend said I was cute. I was in a committed relationship with another woman at the time. Literally the last person to be interested in her scumbag boyfriend. We weren't friends after that and it took everything in me to not go kick her ass. I'm not a fighter by nature but that tested me. First time a friend co-worker of my then wife visited our house. He wouldn't make eye contact with me or respond to me when I tried to engage him. Turned out my wife was cheating on me with him. She left me for him a month later, four days after my father was put in palliative care. Close bracket. I later found out the dude has apparently been making PRN for about a decade and my ex-wife is now his big star. Their videos are shot in my old bedroom. So surreal every time I think about it. They tried kicking my cat because she got too close. This family member knew I had cats before coming to visit and said it was no problem. Needless to say. They've never been invited over again and any time they stop by for something. Their ass stays on my front porch. Don't fck with my cats. She invited herself over. Tried to initiate group sx. Got drunker. Then started a brawl with my wife. It was bad. I invited my neighbor over one day when we were having a barbecue in the backyard. I was making hamburgers and hot dogs. Neighbor asks for a hot dog with no bread. Then this a-hole walks over to the condiments and unscrews the cap on the squeeze bottle of mustard and just dunks his dog in. He may as well just open the fridge and drink from the milk carton when he's done with hillbilly mustard dog. Moth Earth King B. Brother's ex that moved into our home, family of five, and just made herself comfortable. She'd cook TTY dinner and leave messes. She would use my makeup without asking. And my razor. She would steal my clothes. She would walk around in just a tower with my father home. Just overall disrespectful. And to top it off. I'm pretty sure she cheated on my brother before she broke up with him. Shtty individual. When he left the house. He didn't shut the door. I'm not saying he didn't lock the door. I'm saying he didn't even latch the front door. I came home and the front door is wide open and you can see inside the house from the street. I am a woman who lives alone. FCKU. Ben. Edit. NGL. 
It was pretty great to go to lunch and come back to find out that Reddit has jumped on the screw you Ben bus. And don't worry. This Ben knows who he is. After an afternoon of drinking. A friend of mine. My GF and her friend had all decided to sit down on the couch and watch a movie. We had all fallen asleep. When my GF nudges me to wake me up. I woke up to see my friend standing in the corner pissing onto my dog's bed. Pissing like a racehorse as they say. I just kept going and going and going. My girlfriend, now crying with laughter, comments. As I just stare incredulously. I have never seen you look shocked. Full stop. Finally. As the pissing continues. I exclaim Gord. What the fck are you doing? He looks back at me smiling and say what? I replied you're pissing in my house. He laughs and says no I'm not. Finishes. Sits back down on the couch and immediately goes back to sleep. Aims have not been changed to protect the idiot. While my family was on a vacation in Florida. My old babysitter was watching my dog. When we got home she told us that she brought two other little kids she used to babysit to our house and one of them broke my giant Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts set. Not only that. They lost a ton of pieces. Killed my hamster in the microwave. It was the only time I beat someone's ass. And both my mother and his mother said the asshole deserved it. One summer while my family was up north. My best friend at the time asked if her and my other good friend could use my pool. I said okay and told her where the key was. She ended up throwing not only a sub but three house parties at my house without my knowledge. My grandmother even walked in on one because she was there to water the plants. The entire house was trashed. There was bleach spots on my lawn. Bong water stains on the kitchen tablecloth. And broken glass everywhere. Wasn't friends with her after that. Edit. Hello everyone. I just wanted to say that I joined Reddit yesterday and this is my very first post. Thank you so much for all of the support. A friend and her boyfriend were invited to a weekend at my parents cabin along with the rest of my family. Including three little girls. When we woke up the following morning. Her and her boyfriend were lying naked in the living room. Drunk. And my little cousins found them when they were on their way to the kitchen for breakfast. This was a guy I was seeing. My son at the time was two and a half. He had a teddy he brought everywhere with him. It didn't bother me cause kids like comfort toys. Well this guy had an issue with it. So we're out on my balcony and my son had showed this guy his teddy bear. He had grabbed the bear threw it over the balcony and told my son to grow up bears are for babies. Darren you're a dick I still cannot stand you. We found more than 20 pieces of gum stuck to the bottom of our furniture around the house. Like really bro? We invite you over for a BBQ and that's how you thank us? I had a new $15.000300 square. FT covered cedar deck built and had people over for a holiday party. In the morning I found that people were putting cigarette butts out on the railing. Bill was allowed to live with us for a while under the condition he help out and watch our two yo son. Came home on lunch to find him passed out on the couch with my son bawling at the front door. His girlfriend was dyeing her hair black in my bathroom and dripping dye all over the bathroom rug. He didn't get to stay much longer after that. When I was about 8 our family did a house swap with another family because they live near London and we live near the coast so it was a change for both families and a cheap way to holiday. One of their idiot kids who stayed in my bedroom peeled off my glow and the dark stickers off my bookcase because they said they were stopping them from being able to sleep. Which is total fking bullshit because there's no way they could be bright enough to stop anyone sleeping. That was 33 years ago and as you can tell I'm completely over it now. Yell at my dog for wanted to get pet. Somebody I knew moved in with her boyfriend who was my housemate. She wasn't paying any extra rent or bills. After a month or so. She sat me down and told me it was time for me to leave my own house because it wasn't working out for her me being there. 